At the Consumer Reports TV Test Lab, experts test hundreds of TVs. They assess and review some of the most advanced tech the world of television has to offer. So imagine my surprise when I discovered the team testing TV antennas. Not for nothing, Jim, but I haven't seen an antenna in like 15, 20 years. Yeah, I mean, antennas are sort of, you know, the vinyl of video right now that they're making a comeback. Decades ago, all TV programs came via an antenna. Cable and satellite gradually replaced them. But as the cost of those services went up, consumers have rediscovered antennas as a way of saving money. The average household right now is spending about $105 a month for pay TV. With the streaming services, you get a lot of the channels, but you don't always get the locals. So you're paying for that package, but you're not getting your major networks. And an antenna is a great and inexpensive solution. One of the other things that some of our testers found is that often the signals that you're getting from an antenna look better than what you're getting sometimes from a pay TV service because they're less compressed. Antennas deliver free over-the-air channels like those from major networks. Then, if you have an internet connection, you can pay for a streaming service which can give you access to movies, premium specials, series, and even some pay channels. You know, there's so much talk about streaming right now, kind of that's the way to watch TV. How do these antennas fit into this new streaming world? Well, they sort of fit in perfectly. In fact, you know, one of the things that was surprising to us is we found that actually what's driving antenna use are broadband homes, people who have streaming services. One out of every five uh, broadband homes right now actually is using an antenna. Some of the new digital antennas retain the classic rabbit ears of old, while others don't even look like antennas anymore. This is an antenna? Yeah, this is a very popular model. In fact, this antenna was among the top performers in our ratings. And there are models like this that you can actually paint right over. It'll blend right into your wall. An antenna is an enticing prospect for Jeanette, Chris, and Marco, who feel they're paying too much for cable. But which one is right for them? Hey, Jim. nice to meet you. Jim made a house call to see if he could help. Well, Jim, here's our TV. You probably can see with this antenna, it sort of looks a little old school, like the old antennas with the rabbit ears. It's also got this round piece, and you want an antenna that can get both UHF and VHF signals, and that will cover the whole spectrum of the possible channels that you can get. Jim shows him how simple it is to attach it to the TV. Now, the other thing you may notice, this has a plug. That's because this is an amplified model. What it means is it has a built-in amplifier, and if you're far from some of the broadcast towers, it'll help pull those signals in. And once it's all set up, Jim does a scan. And just look at that, 35 channels. Although Jim's team has found that sometimes you can pull in twice that number. I think that's very cool because even with basic cable, you don't get a lot of channels. Now, Jim turns up the signal amplifier as he tries to get the best picture quality he can. Okay, so this actually looks pretty good. And it gets even better as he adjusts the rabbit ears. In our own tests, what we found is that if, um, if you play around with the position and the location of the antenna, sometimes that will help. We found that if you can put it near a window, sometimes that's an, an improvement in the picture quality. The other thing is if you can elevate it, sometimes people will even put an uh, indoor antenna in their attic and then run a cable down. Are any of these antennas for outside? Obviously, if you can put an antenna on your roof, it's going to give you the best reception. But for people who live in apartments, or sometimes it's just really a hassle to go up on a roof and install that, indoor antennas work for a lot of people. So weather doesn't affect this, right? <laughs> Or does it? <laughs> so sometimes weather can affect, I mean, there are, there are a lot of things that will affect reception. So one is, you know, your distance from a broadcast tower. Where I happen to live, I get three or four channels. So you did much better than me. And here are some more of Jim's tips to get you tuned into antennas. Since you may need to try several models to find the one that works best in your house, make sure you buy antennas with good return policies. After you found an antenna, Jim recommends scanning for new channels once a month. You may find that you're getting some channels that you didn't get otherwise. Thank you for coming and telling us all about antennas. I think I can say none of us had an idea there were so many free channels out there. 